everyone, welcome. I'm working with uh, working with functions. That's Python of class 12. Today we'll be studying return values from functions. So we have got two types of return value. One is functions returning some value that is non-void and functions returning not returning any value, which is a void function. So when we come into non-void functions, as we had been seeing till now, so there is a return statement which is there. So I can say return x plus y, return 6 plus 4. So all those have got a return value. So the value is being returned. It can be a literal, it can be a variable, it can be an expression. Okay, so now if I have, have want to have a sum, if we have looked into in my previous videos, that return uh, defines sum x comma y, and there is a return value of x plus y. Okay, so when I go ahead, I get the result as 8. I'm able to write this uh, return of this function into some variable. And I'm able to go ahead with this. And what about functions not returning any value? They are known as void functions. So they do not have any return value which I can write down anywhere. So here the term, the keyword return without any value or expression following are some examples of void functions. Okay, so greet, greet one, code, all these are void functions. Okay, so uh, if I have a greet and print hello, if I then after that want to print any, I mean take the value or return value of greet into uh, any variable and try to print it, it will give me none. That is no value is present. We will be going ahead and seeing that uh, one of the functions. I know that you know the reason why. So here I have got a code. There are two sets of code. So um, code one is saying define replicate print dollar symbol and print replicate. So now it will go ahead and print replicate. So now when it tells to print replicate, it will give me a value of dollar dollar and none. Obviously, because it doesn't have a return value. But when it says return this, 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 then it will print me the value of this dollar, dollar, dollar alone, not any none. So returning multiple values, if you want to return multiple values, that also is possible. So return in statement inside a function body should not be of form given below return value one value, uh, one variable, one expression. Okay, so either uh, received, receive the return values in the form of double variables, that is, I can have tuples, comma, 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 separated, and then a squared of two, three, four, and I can print T, so that can be there. Or you can directly unpack the received values of a tuple by specifying the same number of variables on the left-hand side of the assignment in the function call. So I can specify divide it, and then I can print the values V1, V2, V3. Okay, so this way I can be going ahead. So first I will be going ahead and showing how the return value works, and then after that I'll be doing this function. So I am going to define a function. I'm going to define a function, def, say sum function I'm doing, cal sum of x comma y. And I am going to print x plus y. Okay. So whenever I try and I call this particular function, cal sum, of 2 comma 3 say I want to place it in some value sum okay now I want it to print sum I wanted to print sum now let us see what will happen some kind of syntax error let me check it out file align 1 define cal sum Invalid syntax. Okay, okay. So there is a colon which got messed out. So yes, that's why it's, it was not uh, able to read it. So it is giving me five, and then after that you see it has given me a value called as none. Okay. So in case if I do not, if I uh, was not having this particular uh, thing uh, here, if I was giving this as, I was commenting this line, I was telling it uh, return x plus y which is which is an expression return x plus y so what it will be doing for me once it returns x plus y i can go ahead i can see what is my value yes see it's giving me five so uh, this if i have a return it it is the return is having a value then it says that it is non-void otherwise it says it is void okay now coming into the next program so the next program is about the calculator sum. So I am going to uh, rename this as calculator. I am going to do in the same function x comma y. I will, what I will do, I will return x plus y comma. I will return x minus y. I will return 
x into y and I will return x divided by y. So these are the things that I will return. Okay, so these are the return values that I will get. So in this case, what I will do? I will just print calculator calculator of comma two. I let me say five comma four. Five comma two. So if I run it, what will I get? See, I have got four different return values. 5 plus 2 is 7, 5 minus 2 is 3, 5 into 2 is 10, and 5 divided by 3 is 2.5. So I'm getting multiple return values. All right? Okay.